What's going on? Welcome to K Sports Talk. And if you can give me the HKO special help to King out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So today I'm going to wrap it up with Group H. Yes. So we're going to go to Indonesia Arena. So let's see. So we're going to go to Indonesia. So here we go. Yep, and we're going to cover uh, all these teams. Yep, Canada, France, Lebanon, and Latvia. So there we go. So to Indonesia. All right, so let's start it off with uh, Lebanon. So Lebanon is aiming for continued success. Okay, so Le Lebanon, plenty of eyebrows to run to the Asian Cup, led by what? Why Arachi and now uh, Cedars had their sights on surprises that on the FIBA Cup. So Arachi, the explosive guard headlines Lebanon's roster as a country makes its first World Cup appearance since 2010. And there is Arachi. I covered him in the games. So there is his award. And I think I even have this on the uh yep, on the thumbnail. So if Arachi gets most of the attention, the strength of Lebanon coach under Jad Ahadji is the chemistry of the team that consists of talented, unselfish players. So four players appeared in at least 10 to 12 games in the Asian class, while four others played at least eight games. Now, here's Lebanon looking to make a big contribution from former NBA first-round draft pick Amari Spellman, who has taken up the naturalized place in their team. So, and Spellman, who plays for Anyang KGC with Reza Bondo, is going to be playing. Of course, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to get to see him if he, they don't make it out of the group, but we'll see. As impressive as Lebanon has been in recent times, they'll be underdogs in Group H. Yes, because that's Canada, France, and Latvia. So, can they spring an upset or two? Well, Lebanon has a very good team, and anything's possible what Arachi. So the basketball god seems to be at work with Lebanon into their group of death. So I think, you know, uh, that one group with Australia and Japan and Germany in that one. And then this is another group of death. So, yep. So they've upset France, 74-73, and upset of Canada. So the hope is uh, they played their some of the best basketball over the last couple years. So the hope is they can continue playing well and threaten upsets against France, Canada, and Latvia. The makeups of the team are different, yet Lebanon can draw inspiration from victories over the French and Canadians at previous World Cups. So, yep, yeah, by building a momentum from the Asia Cup and the qualifiers and the conference winning has created, Lebanon can push all three countries to the end. Yes, and they can do it. So, if the games are close to the fourth quarter, especially with Arachi and players like uh, Ali Haidar and Sergio uh, Darwich and Hayek uh, Gokchanian and Amir Saeed, the Cedars are dangerous. Yes, they're they're very dangerous. I don't I, I won't it surprise me if they pull an upset here. It would not surprise me one bit. So yep, none of the players have played at the World Cup, so a big lack of big term experience could be detrimental. But Lebanon recently, week preparation schedule with warm-ups against Iran, Egypt, Mexico, and Cote d'Ivoire isn't enough for the Lebanese to be ready for France to get two of the best teams at the World Cup. So that's where they're at, and that's how it goes. So, yep, and we can look deeper on that. Okay, so that's Lebanon, and now let's go to uh, Latvia. Now, yep, Latvia played last night. But I didn't know. I was going to do the game, but I just couldn't. But they're 29th. So, Latvia. And let's look at their team. So, that's the recent news. So, Latvia. Of course, they're not going to have Porzingis. So, they're not going to have him. But they're set to take the most important date. So, the FIBA Basketball World Cup. So this won't be any time for the Baltic team to ease in their first participation of uh, FIBA's flagship event as they square up against a couple of title contenders, France and Canada, as well as Asian powers Lebanon. Yep, so they trimmed it down to, uh, from 24 to 16 with their latest roster movements, but um, the biggest star, uh, 
Porzingis announced on the 15th with a foot injury will stop him from playing with the national team. So they're going to rely on their brothers, Davis and Darius uh, Batrans, who are the prominent names along European base, uh, Rodian uh, Rukas and, and Majerus and Tima and Roland Schmidt. So survive the group H. So this is going to be tough, man. And this is, this is going to be on the edge of your seat games, type of games. How will uh, Lafayette respond to being the big stage, especially one of the toughest groups? Lafayette faced solid comp uh, competition in preparation for Sweden, Georgia, Dominican Republic, Finland, Puerto Rico, Lithuania. So as warm-ups goes, they've been solid. Yet it remains to see how much confidence Lafayette will carry in the World Cup, but how much chemistry the team develops in the build-up. So Lafayette looks like a team ready for bright lights while putting together a string of 11 wins in a row in the qualifiers. Three-point shooting is key as they converted 37.5 of the three-point attempts while making a total of 134 threes. Both was the second base in the European qualifiers. So, yep, as the saying goes, you live by the three and die by the three. The fear is now without posing his impact that and the potential damage he caused, uh, Lafayette offense is in danger of becoming stagnant with other players to provide enough scoring. To advance out of first round so lafia have plenty of hype for what the is a true uh floor general so they'll be without uh lozamis who's 28 three points are most on the team european client and janice uh Strunix. both are rehabbing from serious injuries torn knee ligaments and a ruptured achille tendon so respectively so that's where they're at so that's what we're gonna deal with with lafia now let's go over and we're going to talk about team canada yes so canada they're ranked 15th they have a star-studded nba lineup so let's look let's see how many what players they have so there we go so canada is hopeful that nba stars will lift them to the first ever podium finish so just to get a medal. So of the 32 teams competing at FIBA basketball, there might not be a team with more hype, excitement ex surrounding than Canada. At past World Cup, Canada top talents were absent from the team, suffered because of it, yet changes summer. So yeah, Canada have a star-studded preliminary list that includes uh, Shai Gillis Alexander of Oklahoma City and New York star R.J. Barrett. So we got a lot of them. And then total of 7 out of 15, including Minnesota, Nikola Alexander Walker, uh, Dylan Brooks. Okay. And then there's, uh, of course, uh, Alexander's teammate, Lagoots Dort, and Kelly Olenek, and, of course, Dwight Powell. So so a lot of the Canadians and Alsace Europe and Royal Service and Nashi were members of the World Cup, like Melvin E. Jump, Kevin Pangos, Phil Scrub. And Thomas Scrub are also on the preliminary roster. So, yep, with the playmaking of Gillis Alexander, all around powerful game up. Barrett, Canada have argued the most electrifying, explosive duel of the stars at the World Cup. Now, the question is uh, will Canada at long lace reach their full potential World Cup with a full complement of top talent? That's remained to be seen, but seeing action against Germany, New Zealand, China, and they'll face. The super, uh, and then they'll face in the super basketball club Spain and Dominic Republic. That's how all the players mesh together will be the first step on this journey. Canada did not disappoint in Hamburg, winning the Super Cup final overtime against Germany. RJ uh, Barrett had 31 points, an amazing 13 for 14 from the shooting to play. The hope is Cal uh, Canada players find the chemistry needed to perform, that the stars shine, that the rest of the players reach their full potential but opponents with these esteems to bid the contributions of Gal alexander and barrett and all through these court these two will be on the court at the same time such strategy will be hard to execute so other players are going to have to step up and play quality minutes in a long hard competitive tournament like the scrub brothers and if canada plays hard smart together they can capitalize the dream of reaching the podium for the first time. The country has never finished better than sixth in the World Cup, something that happened in 78 and 82. So the talent 
is headed to Jakarta, few Canada's hopes of not only advancing to positive, but challenging for a title in the Philippines. So, yep, the pressure to perform on the world stage, particularly this group of date, Group H with France, Lafayette, Lebanon, could prevent Canada from showing their best face. Even with the talent, Canada may struggle to finish in the top two in Group L and to put their bid reaching the quarterfinals in danger. So this could lead the country playing in the 1732nd classification. A big dream in Africa would be wasted. So, yep, the friendly games are crucial to gather so much chemistry as possible before the start of the World Cup. So there's Canada. That's where they all finished. And, of course, World Cup 21st, you know, and 22nd. So that's where we're at with Canada now. We're going to go with France. Yeah, so France is pretty much favored. They're fifth in the world. And let's see if we got any team profile from France. Yep, so there we go, France. They hope to win it all this time. So, yep, and the roster is very strong because they got Rudy Gobert, Fortnier, DeColo, Nicholas Batum, Tomb and the country's Tokyo Silver Medal and and Grusha and Yabusali and Mustaka Fall. And Frank uh Nikita has been in the team, but he suffered an injury for the preparation, so replaced by uh Isla uh Candier. So yeah, these players are good. I've covered them uh this uh season. The Tokyo Olympics, two years of press, French show toughness, consistency, and play with great IQ. Last year in the Eurobasket, there were fine moments, yet France left with an M feeling after failing to rivals Spain in the finals. So, yep, there'll be some young blood in France's team with Francisco and Huerta set to play the first big tournament participation in the European qualifiers. So the question is, after finishing third in the last two World Cups, runners-up at the Tokyo Olympics and FIBA Eurobasket 22, will France win it on 23? Anything less than a podium will be disappointing from France's perspective, especially with their talent and continuity. So the hope is France will capitalize on their experience and realize their full potential and win for the World Cup for the first time with Decolo and Batum back on the team after uh, resting last summer and Fortnier uh, determined to show his best form after enduring loss of playing time in the 22-23 NBA campaign with the Knicks. And Les Blues will present the best version of themselves so yep france coach uh, vincent colette in charge of the 09 post a rice string and a team avoids early setbacks against a super talented canada in the opening game in jakarta so defense will once again be the primary quality of the squad uh three-time defensive player gobert controlling the paint and the rim and france are tall and athletic and the guards can put immense pressure on the ball of course they lost to australia in the uh, uh the ready game, the tune-up game but you know it is a float and fort neil struggles to perform after a difficult year but now he looks fine yet friendly game world cups are two different things so if fred stumbles out of the game against Canada, they could struggle in ensuing games against Lafayette and lebanon or in the second against potential spain and brazil so the first game against canada is vital yes it is so yeah Okay, so this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna really get out there on this. Um, first place, I'm gonna go with France in first. Maybe uh, Canada second, and I think maybe Lebanon will maybe be third. I'm going on a limb and Lafayette fourth, but they can flip flop because any of these teams could just win. But that's where I'm going to set it at, France, Canada, Lebanon, and Latvia. So, but maybe I might eat those words. So that's where we're at with this World Cup. All right, so if any of you enjoyed any of this content, please help the king out, HKO Special. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, wherever you are, I'll see you in my next video.